more than two and a half miles below the surface. The wreckage of the Titanic rests on the seafloor, both as a memorial and a living laboratory. 100 years ago, the world's most advanced passenger steamship struck an iceberg. On April 15, 1912, it sank, losing 1,496 lives. The legend of the Titanic was larger than her size, and finding the wreck site opened a door to not only exploration and scientific study, but to salvage as well. With ties to multiple nations, steps needed to be taken to preserve and protect the integrity of the wreck site. For the U.S., NOAA and the State Department negotiated an international agreement with representatives of the U.K., Canada, and France. This agreement recognizes the wreck site as a memorial to those who died and a wreck of great archaeological, historical, and cultural importance. The agreement set rules for research, exploration, and salvage. The memory of the Titanic lives on in movies, books, and museums, but it's the protection of the wreck site that will continue to yield clues about the faithful ship and its passengers.